Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Terra Tech. And on this episode, we are going to be continuing where we left off. Now, you guys can see out there in the distance is an enemy, and then the uh, trading station, which is what I'm looking for. I have redesigned my bot just a tad bit, moved the weapons around basically, and uh, the batteries around. And I charged them up fully, so I got the shield and the uh, repair bubble going on right now. And I have weapons that are facing pretty much every direction, so this enemy won't really have... Uh, well, I mean, there's, there's weak points. But there's not one in particular that they get away with not hitting or me hitting them at all. And that's usually what they're looking for. So if you can just make it where it's a little difficult for them to uh, to find that, uh, they are pretty much leave you alone and just attack you head on. It makes things so much easier. Now, unfortunately, I lost like 90% of the blocks that were there. But that's okay. I mean, we don't need to go and uh, get too many to start with. But I did kind of want to finish this uh, crescent-shaped, just uh, weird weird design I have going on. Let's see if it turns it the way I want it to turn it. If you keep scrolling the wheel, the little scroll wheel on your mouse, it will eventually go the way you want. Uh, it may take a while. It may take a long while, but uh, it will eventually get there. Now, we do have some lights here. I'm going to go ahead and throw those on top just for the fun of it because it's going to be something cool we haven't seen yet, uh, at least on this playthrough. Let's go ahead and take this wheel off. Uh, let's see. How, how far down did we go? I want it to match up and be the same on both sides. So let's see, we did uh, right from the center, one, two, three, and right from the center over here, one, two, three. Okay, so that's the exact same. We're gonna go ahead and start doing this from now on, all the way up. And just, uh, once we build it up for that way, I think I'm gonna actually have one that arcs going up from the back. So it's gonna go straight up, you know, in the back, and then come up above, and then be like this uh, spider or pincer kind of movement on there. I think it's going to be a kind of a cool design, something I haven't tried, something I've never seen before. It, it may not work as efficiently. I mean, you know, it, it's a weird design, and you're only doing it for basically the fun of it. So, yeah, it's it's not going to be nearly as efficient, but it's going to be cool, and I'm going to like it. So that's, that's why I'm doing it. I'm trying it out. Now, there is one flaw to this right now, is I just don't have enough of the... Uh, the solar and repair bubbles to cover my entire bot. They're just not big enough. And I don't know if they're ever planning on creating it where those get stronger. If you give them more power, maybe you can overcharge them, maybe you can do this or that. I, I don't know uh, what their plans are. But if they do, I think that would be kind of cool because right now, the only thing you can do about it is just uh, basically get another, um, another repair bubble. And that takes more power and takes up more space. And, uh, you know... Yeah, that might be the way you have to start out with, but it wouldn't be bad if at some point uh, you just got an upgraded ability. Oh, there's a little headlight we hadn't, haven't gotten yet before, at least on this playthrough, and now we have access to it. If we didn't already, some of these, I think that was one that you get access to uh, regardless. But now that we got a lot of stuff here that we don't necessarily need, all we have to do is actually pick it up, drag it over here on top, and drop it. Uh, actually, you want to drop it onto these little receivers right there. They pick them up. They're kind of push it through and then there's sell them and this stuff is worth a decent amount of money and if you're not using it you might as well sell it this used to be the the worst way to gain money which is uh, breaking the pieces apart and, and uh, getting the money out of them because you just didn't get pieces very often you had to always drag them back to your base but they actually give you quite a bit of money for this stuff and the blocks cost uh, far far less so this is a viable way of earning a little bit of cash. Now, if you right-click on it, it will pop up this uh, little menu right here, and you're right-clicking on the actual building. Uh, you can click on blocks, or you can click on text. Text will show you the ones that the game, the uh, the devs have put in here for you. I think buggy is the very first one that they have. It's just the basic buggy you get for free when you die. So I wouldn't suggest buying that one. Uh, you just get it for free when you die, so what's the point? These other ones are ones you've either created in uh, different, uh, you know the sumo or the race trials and you've saved them or you've downloaded them off the internet so you got ones on here that you can have uh, and then just build it now they do still cost money and on this one they're they're read it out or blocked out because we just don't have access to the blocks it says contain undiscovered blocks and you can click on the little eye right here at the top of the right of that little box and it will show you which ones are in this build that you just don't have access to yet because you haven't discovered them and you haven't uh, unlocked them. And this one has quite a bit of stuff because, of course, this is like an in-game item that has pretty much everything in the game and uh, just tons and tons of stuff we don't have access to. If you can scroll down a little bit more, you can see like this one will have the same thing. Uh, Self-destruct imminent. 
I don't know what that is, but that's kind of cool that it put it, it puts it in there. So we'll have to check that out sometime. GSO for Redux Mega Boosters. We definitely need some Mega Boosters. That'd be pretty cool. Uh, but you can go in the blocks, and you'll see these are all the GSO blocks. And you're probably wondering, well, okay, where do we get the other ones? Uh, you know, how do we get the other ones? Well, these will only show you ones that you've already found that you can buy right here or that you have access to because you leveled uh, for the GSO. If you want the other ones, you have to come up here to the top right and click on the little arrow and scroll down. Geocore are the big yellow ones that we haven't found yet. They're mainly in the mountain regions. Uh, you have over here the Venture blocks. These are the really fast gray and or white and red ones. Um, pretty cool. I think they're red, white, and blue, actually. But they're pretty cool. Very, very weak, but very fast and very uh, strong in the damage, I should say. And then the specials are just weird ones that they throw in every so often. Uh, the Jap Septic Guy? What is that? This block is unavailable for purchase until you reach the light, the right license. Okay, so that one you actually have to... What are some of these are weird? Some of these I hadn't seen before. The ice cream sundae's been in there, the birthday cake, uh, the jolly white beard, jolly red hats. So some of these have been here for a while. Some of these are kind of new, and I like how they're th they're throwing new things in there. Uh, that's 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 cool. I like that. Okay, so those are all of those blocks. Uh, GSO is what you're going to be dealing with most of the time right off the bat. Um, I'm really surprised you can't buy the GSO one blocks. That that's kind of crazy. Purchase a tractor pad to begin harvesting resources. Okay, so we're looking for the tractor pad right here. It's 73. So we're going to go ahead and get one of those. Let's actually go ahead and get two of those to make, uh, you know, harvesting what they want us to harvest here a little bit easier. So let's throw these here on the back. Okay, so now that you can earn, go destroy some rocks or trees to get some resources. Okay, well, anything in this game that is not the ground is destroyable so don't try destroying hills it's not going to work but rocks trees uh, minerals crystals all of that is destructible you can go ahead and destroy it and pick up the resources some of it's used for stuff some of it's not like the the dirt usually isn't but you'll see that some of it has this blue stuff in it uh, you can pick that up now look at that you'll see that the lasers are actually attacking the the resources and destroying them you can use your drills in that situation and they will not destroy resources so if you're very cautious and you don't want to lose whatever you're mining if you want to go through and and get some resources that you need like this one over here that's red each one of these different pieces is used in crafting something different so if you really need this piece to build whatever it is that you're building just use the drills on the front of your bot and you don't have to worry about it being destroyed or you can pick this stuff up manually and shoot it uh, back over here into the back and then you don't have to worry about being destroyed by your bot now you'll see that uh, one of them is actually stuck underneath my bot right there in the back and it's causing it to freak out a little bit actually there's two back there because they have this push pull kind of thing the the harvesters the uh, the tractor pad is trying to pull it into the the little whatever you want to call that little hatch that it has right there where it holds the stuff and the resource is trying to get there but it's pushing on the bottom of your cab while the other one's pulling it so they just kind of work against each other and the only thing that suffers is your bot now you'll see right there it's not picking that one up and it's not picking it up because these tractor pads can only carry so many resources at a time until you get the bigger one these are the one the single ones for the GSO the GSO does have one that's about four times bigger and carries about four times as much uh, the geocore the yellow ones they have one that's just it, it's amazing it really is when you think about how much you can carry you just have one of those you probably won't ever have to worry about not being able to pick up enough but it's something like a three by three or it might be four by four on the size it's big so for a small bot it's probably going to be too big but for a bigger bot uh, you probably won't have to find too much okay so now we have two quests up here at the top and almost no battery power so let's before it gets too dark let's put these things down it's it's gonna be dark here in a second anyways so it may be too late you can kind of see the sun's going down and yeah, that was just uh, bad timing on that one so we'll get as much as we can because you know we're not taking any damage right now so it shouldn't last uh, I mean it should last for a, a lot longer so purchase a delivery cannon from the menu blocks okay Let's see if we can purchase a delivery cannon. Right click the station. Um, hmm. 
be nice if it was in alphabetical order. Let's see. Delivery cannon. Uh, no, I haven't seen any of these. Did we go past it? No. Ooh, what is this? Uh, static delivery cannon. Okay, so these are the ones that they've changed. They used to be... Uh, they used to look a little different. These are these are dramatically uh, been altered in the last few patches. Now, it looks the same as it did earlier in the, the last playthrough we went through, but that's one of the big updates that they had done. Let's go ahead and put that down. Awesome, you have arrived. Okay, so that's basically my base. Grab the delivery cannon and attach it to a solar generator. Okay, well, we can do that. Let's Let's move forward a little bit. Let's put that on there, if we can attach it, if it will. Come on, there you go. Now it's attached. Now it has power, guys. Oh, what did it drop? Okay, so it dropped a receiver. We're going to pick that up and attach it. Again, if you have a receiver here, it can it can take the stuff from you and sell it. Purchase a refinery. Okay, right-click the station corner to access the purchase menu. I've already done that. What does it want me to do? Oh, purchase a refinery. Okay. So let's try that. Let's go ahead and buy a refinery. Mm, if we can find one. Uh, no, that's a fixed. These uh, GSO fixed anchors are really, really good for like a guard tower. You can put those things down on the ground. These GSO rotating anchors are better because they spin around and fight whatever you want. But the fixed ones will sit in one area and point only in that direction. So you don't have to worry about if an enemy's coming around and, and getting their attention on the other side of the base and ignoring one that's a little closer. Okay, well, we must have missed it somewhere at the top. So, how much is this solar generator? Oh, we can't buy it anyways. I kind of wanted to get an extra one. That way I can carry one on me at all times and leave one over here by the base. Because uh, it's going to be... it's it's It can get attacked while you're gone to get destroyed. That's kind of why you do want those solar generators. Uh, solar, uh, not solar, the uh, the uh, sentry towers that I was just talking about. Where's this refinery? I do not see it. I'm probably an idiot. I just keep going past it. There we go. 175. So let's go ahead and purchase that. It did look a little different as well. It has like a little antenna on it or something, which is kind of cool. Let's go ahead and put that there. Okay, so it is nighttime now. What did it give us? Uh, okay, it gave us... Oh, that's right. Okay, so it gave us some conveyor belts. And then another, another uh, receiver so that we can put more resources on there. Okay, so my prospecting will attract enemies. Well, I kind of knew that was coming eventually. Let's go ahead and put this back on. Is it repairing anything? No? Okay, so it's going to last a lot longer because it's not repairing anything. I don't know if I want to leave this out here, guys. That's that's pretty dangerous. Hmm. I guess we'll try it. Ah, it sucks so bad. Yeah, we'll try it for now. We may have to... Uh, I have to re regret that. Okay, let's move this over here just so it can repair this stuff. No, nope, not close enough. I just wanted to repair this stuff really quick before we head out. But I don't want to stay over here too long. Again, I don't want that dude to spawn on me. And if it spawns out here, it's going to destroy my base for sure. So let's head back in to the grassland as soon as possible. We do have a few enemies out here. Hopefully they did not see me. Hopefully they... Uh, they're more than happy to leave me alone. Now you'll see on the map, it's it's uh, orange and blue arrow. Uh, that's not the right way. Yeah, I think I went the wrong way. Let me go back. It's an orange and blue arrow. The orange arrow, obviously, for the the area you can buy from the terminal. The blue arrow is my base. So if you're ever you know lost and you don't know where to go, I just head to the blue arrow. It will take you to wherever your base is. If you ever see your blue arrow disappear off of the map. It just means your base was destroyed. And that's... It's a pretty crappy feeling. But it happens. Uh, I think it's over here, right? It's kind of hard to see because it's so dark. But it looks like it's green off in the distance. And then you get closer and you're like, no, not so much. Uh, yeah, here we go. Okay, we're actually starting to get some forest trees. You only find these types of trees near or on the grassland. As you can see, it's a little bit close to the, uh, the salt flats and the desert. Uh, or the mountain region. But uh, mainly only on this region up here and you'll see my wheel wheels are sparking because I just have so much weight on that area now I just need to get better wheels or move that weight around so it's a little bit better uh, positioned now this does look cool as a bot but we'll find out pretty soon if it's practical or not if we get stuck on a lot of stuff you know 
hills or if like the trees are always too close that we're constantly having to destroy stuff just to get close enough to you know do the quest that we're looking for and you know the the just uneven landscape of things may make it very very difficult to even destroy trees or rocks when you go over stuff and um should we take that guy on i mean we can that would be cool i mean he has a lot of stuff on him guys a lot of stuff oh this this might be rough but yeah let's let's try it man man can you imagine if we get all that if we don't destroy like 90 percent of it I can't wait. That's that's gonna be cool. That's gonna be a lot of building, though. Here we go. It has started. What does he have? Oh, he has some stuff on the, the top. I don't think I've ever seen before. What is that? No, that's just regular stuff. I think. Here we go. Destroy the cab. Destroy. Yes. 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 Holy. That was pay dirt right there, guys. That is amazing. Okay. Wow, okay, so we are going to build. I know some of you guys probably are like, no, I don't want to see that. Well, if you don't, you can skip ahead. Obviously, I like to show it off. I know a lot of people out there like to see it as well. So, uh, in fact, I could have kept that on because we are doing this new type of, you know, progression with this side as well as the last side. So, let's go ahead and do that. Let's keep moving around in this. Let's, uh, come on, this is going to take a while for this one to get lined up. For some reason, it just doesn't like to do this the way I want it. Uh, it just one of those there we go finally you guys lined up okay so let's do the one more and if you're gonna ask me which one is better to have the two or the one well it depends on the circumstance obviously the two is stronger than the one but if the one is destroyed and it still has place to attach to the block behind it uh, it, it won't be destroyed as well so you'll have you know a a bigger area that's covered still even after that has fallen off whereas if the two gets destroyed you have a big gap there but it took more to get to that point and it kind of moved the weight around it, right now if they shoot you in one very specific spot it can get destroyed really easy whereas later on if you have big blocks it doesn't matter if they're shooting you in one spot or not it spreads the weight around pretty evenly which is a nice thing that's actually not a bad thing to have it just comes down to how you prefer to have your your um, bot designed. I mean, it's it's completely up to your play style, and everybody has their own different types of of reasoning on what they they think that should uh, incorporate it. Now, I'm gonna put these wheels here on the inside until I get more weapons, more of those little stud lasers. Those will go on the inside eventually, so that I will have extra damage there, uh, at least in some of the spots. Some of the spots they're not gonna be able to do any damage because they're blocked by the ones in front of it and in that situation I don't really have to worry too much uh, I'm gonna go ahead and attach this simply because we haven't found it yet before but I'm probably not gonna leave it there because it comes out way way too much uh, it comes out two instead of just uh, the one and you'll find that that gets stuck a lot more often than any of the other ones so let's see we're gonna come out one more here and then should we do that? No, we're not going to come out one more there. I'm going to take that block away. I'm going to move this to the side, and we're going to go ahead and do our little spider. Nope, that's not what we wanted right there. That put it underneath for some reason. Let's grab that. Put that back down. Actually, that is not the right side. Right there. Go over. Okay, so that's going to work. Mm, we'll do this. We'll do the same little step kind of pyramid that we did on the on the sides but here on the top and that will slowly yeah slowly inch it forward and above and maybe look at like a a piercer or a pincer of some sort there on the back I don't know it may not work at all guys it may look stupid and we'll end up taking it down but it's something I'm gonna try out and just see because I'm curious and uh, I you know if you do too many of the same things over and over again you'll never learn new techniques on what you could try and what works best because sometimes what you think works best isn't always exactly the one you should use so let's see I'm gonna have to use my repair bubble is this a repair bubble no that is the shield one okay so I'm gonna move it over here let it charge up let it repair any of the stuff that's here which is a lot of damage and why I'm doing that I might as well oh, I don't I didn't even bring with me yeah I didn't even bring my solar reactor with me dang it that was 
That was a bad, bad move. You should always bring that with you so you can recharge your batteries. Again, if your batteries are destroyed, uh, you know, you pretty much lose everything. I mean, that's... Think your, your bot's gonna take so much to... Holy crap. We just annihilated that guy. I like this design. That was... That's pretty amazing. Jeez. Jeez, dude. You don't have a chance. Just give up. Oh. Oh, torture. I left you there all by yourself with nothing left. Okay, let's put this up here. Mm, I don't think I need any of those wheels. Well, maybe one. I might be able to put one back here. Right there on the side. And I think... Yeah, just one more. I'll put that back here as well. And again, the reason for picking up stuff that you may not necessarily want is if you know you're going back to your base uh, or where you can sell the stuff, then just pick it up. And when you get back there, sell it. I mean, you don't have to keep it on you but it's extra money. So just toss that stuff on there and, and go back. Now, I am going to come up a little bit and get up here into the grassland just to kind of reset that clock so I don't have to worry about the uh, invader. I know I've talked about that a few times, talking about trying to evade that guy and not have him come over and, and wipe the floor with me. He's really, really nice to get. I, I don't want to make it sound like it's a bad thing. He will give you such great equipment, you know, mainly Geocore, because a lot of people make stuff out of Geocore. So that will be the common piece you get. Wow, this guy had a lot of stuff too. Um, but keep in mind that he's tough. And you may end up losing everything you have. So, And you may not even be able to beat him. He may spawn and just be so tough that you constantly over and over and over again try, but just never quite get there. And that's that's a real possibility, and it sucks when it happens, but be ready for it if you're, if you're going to go after that prey. And that's really all I want to strike home with you is that just be ready for it because anything can happen when you take that guy on and he's he's not something to underestimate because he will wipe the floor over and over and over again with uh, with some of you guys out there I know he did with me quite a few times okay let's see we have big wheels on the inside everywhere except over here on this side so that is where I'm gonna put these things first just to make sure there we go because there's going to be a lot of weight here in the center. Not only are the batteries here, but now this huge pincer, which is not spreading its weight out at all in any way other than the wheels that are down here on the bottom. It's not like the sides where they all got wheels here on the side. And Actually, there's one where I can put it over here on this side. So we'll do that. Spread that out a little bit more. We've got some three-pound cannons. Always a nice addition to have for your, your bot. So we'll put those over here. What about these uh, mortars? Uh, you don't want to put them too far back. Okay, that got stuck underneath me. You don't want to put them too far back, but you don't want to put them too far, uh, you know, close to the front of your bot either. They... Hmm. How are we going to do this? I guess I could do it like this. Do one right there. And take this one down. Move it over here and do one uh, like this. They should be able to fire over each other. Let's Let's look at that. Are they both firing? Yep, they sure are. So you can kind of see it right there, the one in the back. Yeah, it kind of looks like it's going through the one in the front, but it's not quite. It's actually it's actually being able to fire over it. So we'll go with that. Let's see if this one's able to do the same thing. Yeah, it looks like it is. So I don't think that's really going to be very useful to me because it's going to be too far out but we may redesign it we may have to go in there and just kind of move things around a little bit with the weapons uh, in between this episode and the next and make something a little cooler a little bit more uh, well designed I actually like the look at that I may go up with with two or three there in the center and then just have the center one coming out all the way uh, when it gets to the front of that just because I think that's kind of cool but look at that I'm trapping resources in there guys so when I get over here I'll have something to sell even though I wasn't really meaning to now that's gonna get to be a problem later on when this is like blocks and weapons that get stuck in there and just kind of annoy you but there we go let's go ahead and drag this over here Wow, you got a lot of money for that. Oh, that's right. It's that, that really expensive one. Now, let's see. Can I buy the solar reactors? Because I would love, love, love to not have to take that one off and have that whole thing like just pop apart into little pieces if I don't have to. Let's see. 
Where is it at? Solar, solar, solar. There we go. 125, and I have 318, so yeah, I'll go with that. Let's come back out here. Let's see, has it landed yet? These things are really good about delivering quickly. It used to be you had to wait like four or five seconds for it to drop, and sometimes you'd wait like, you know, 40, 45 minutes for it to fall down, and right before you're, li right before you're about to log off for the day, it would just fall down. Like, it was bugged out for some reason, and uh, that's just what happened. Did I lose a battery? Oh, no, no, here it is. I was going to say, that's going to suck. The batteries are used to be really expensive along with everything else, but now not so bad. Let's see, does this not... I guess it doesn't want to sell. 80, I can't really resist not selling that for 80. That's that's amazing. Now, you'll see that there's a line that's kind of attached to it when you're, when you're moving it around. That's the little line right there. If you move it too far from where it's at, it will just get sucked right back if it's still attached. If it is, just drag it really far away. It will break that line, and then you can drop it uh, wherever you want, which is like right over here. And it will just get sucked right in. So that's not too bad. That's pretty easy for you to do if you if you are running into that issue. I think, guys, what we're going to go ahead and do is end the episode here. I'm going to heal up, uh, repair my bot, obviously, and move some weapons around, make sure they're all able to attack, and I got the weapons where I want them, as well as get rid of some of these uh, these radar units. I don't need, like, five of them on my bot. I only need one, and I have four. So we'll get rid of some of that, uh, maybe move some lights around or something along those. Uh, and on the next episode, we're going to continue where we left off. Again, guys... I want to thank you all for watching. If you do enjoy these videos, hit that like button, subscribe. It definitely lets me know that you are enjoying the videos and you want to see more like it. Uh, and I think this guy's going to get even bigger on the next one, guys. I think this is going to be cool. I, I like the way this is turning out. I really, really like this design. I don't know why I never thought of this sooner, but it would be even better if I could change the color of the blocks and make it actually look like a scorpion. Uh, again, if you guys like this design, let me know if you got a cool name for it. Leave that down in the comment section, and I will definitely uh, pick the best one out and give you credit for it, give you a shout-out to your channel if you have one. So, uh, you know, if you know somebody out there with a channel that deserves a little bit of attention and you got a good idea for uh, a name, go ahead and give it to them. Let them post that down there, and I definitely will, uh, you know, shout that out in the next uh, few episodes here. Again, guys, thanks for watching, and I will definitely catch you all next time.